Okay. My artist is Deb Sokolow. Sokolow is a Chicago-based artist. She graduated from the Art Institute of Chicago in 2004 with a Master's in Fine Arts. She's now a professor of art theory and instruction at Northwestern University. Her art explores history, hierarchies, architecture, and her own past through di diagram drawings. Sokolow talks about feeling like an outsider at starting her MFA at the Art Institute because her background was in graphic design. She had trouble bridging the two, but by making diagrams of movie scenes, kind of similar to some of the long shot maps that we made in this class, she married the two together. She diagrams text and architectural imagery together to create narratives that blend fact and fiction. Many of these are comical, commenting on politicians, new world orders, famous artists, and the male genius in an unusual way. Okay, so th this first series um, she did from 2011 to 2012, and it's called De Kooning's Bell System. Um, it's an example of Sokolow's habit of finding obscure history and diving deep into it and expanding on it. In a de Kooning biography called An American Master, Sokolow read that he would have multiple lovers at one time and they would each ring his doorbell in a different way. That way, he could decide if it was one that he preferred to invite in that night or not. Sokolow found this delightfully preposterous, so she started sketching fictional scenes based on this antidote. The sketches are more text than image, so version, some versions are actually only text. The final piece on the left explores the layout of his apartment, floor plan, and uses a small photograph of the outside of the building, making this partially a collage. Being mostly in graphite, there is hardly any color, and this is typical of her work at the time. Okay, this next series, called Men, um, is from 2016. Um, it, it is a primarily fictitious set of drawings and collages that are sometimes serious and sometimes comical, but are all about the trope of the male genius, shadowy histories, and institutional brainwashing. She uses different famous politicians, artists, and historical figures to examine patterns of Machiavellianism, narcissism, and machoism. The drawings selected here tell stories about the Libyan revolutionary, Muammar Gaddafi, the Prime Minister of Cuba, Fidel Castro, modern artists Donald, du du <laughs> Donald Judd, and President John F. Kennedy. Not all of these drawings have the full story written in text on them, like the de Kooning's doorbell pieces do. And she plays more with architectural drawing and color blocking in this series. I think it's interesting from far away these drawings make a light impression on the page and look formal, but once you get up close and read them, they're more sarcastic and absurd in an unexpected way. Okay. Drawings without words is exactly that. They are similar in style to her usual work, but without any text and more color and less white space. Um, these drawings explore histories of spaces and multidimensional connection through space. Sokolow said that these drawings started with a memory of a ghostly encounter in Winchester Mystery House in 2005 in San Jose, California. This series pus pushes architecture to take smells, shifting rooms, ghosts, and labyrinths into account. She uses new textures and brighter colors here, trying to get marks, trying to get her marks to emulate printmaking processes. I think that Deb Sokolow is really unique and has a and lets her personality come forward in a different way than most artists. She brings critique, 
with novelty and brings humor to the exhibition space. Thank you.